You know, I'm really enjoying playing this open D tuning and using the movable chord system to figure out different songs. So here's another one. Will she get a baby, she get a baby, twist and shout, twist and shout. Come on, come on, baby, now, come on, baby, come on, work it on out, work it on out. Ah, come on, baby, come on, baby, twist and shout, twist and shout. Come on, come on, baby, now, come on, baby, work it on out. See, it actually works out kind of cool. So here's the kind of neat thing. I think you're going to get some new ideas on how to approach uh, arranging a song. The chords to this song are D. So I'm using the D with the uh, third string root. The G, that's with the first string root. Then the next chord is an A major, which we normally would play like this. But I'm kind of just lifting up my... Uh, third finger and playing the open A string for the A major. Then it goes to an A seventh. And in the uh, video on CD6, I showed you how to simply kind of move your fingers on the first two strings to get that seventh. But again, I'm just going to play with the open A string. So I have some nice simple chords. It's not as uh, complex as having to even do three finger chords. So there's the D, there's the G, there's the A major, and there's the A seventh. We'll shake it a baby, shake it a baby, twist and shout, twist and shout. Come on, baby, now. Now, the real cool part I like about this is when they go that part. Ah, and uh, you're going to kind of learn a lot. It's kind of cool. You learn a lot about music just by how this works. What they're doing is they're going up the major scale. Now, they're playing actually, to tell you technically what they're doing, they're singing the notes of the A7 chord, which is the one, the three, the five, and the flatted seventh. Always remember, a seventh chord has the flatted seventh. So right here, the third string is our, is an A. So I could play the major scale. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, right? So they're playing the root, which is the A, and then on the fourth fret is the third, that's the C sharp. Then on the seventh fret, they're singing the E, which is the fifth. And then on the tenth fret, they're playing a G. Remember, that's the flatted seven. So they're going, ah, right? So it's going up in pitch. So what you can do, because it's just the A seventh chord, is you can add the rest of the notes there. So here, Here's the root, third string open, and then there's the A7 like I showed you earlier. Then if I put my finger down on the fourth fret and play the whole A7 chord, now I have the, the uh, third there in the bass. Now I'm going to move up to another inversion. Now if you remember this one, if I bar across the seventh fret, that's an A chord, and the root note is the uh, second string. So there's the seventh. And then one more inversion up here. And that one's made out of this uh, A is with the root on the third string, and then I just turn it into the seventh. And of course, again, this is all on CD6. So here's my chords. So you can see, it's cool because you have that note you really need, the one, three, five, flatted seventh in the bass. So it's the first thing you hit. Uh, So that's kind of cool. So I hope this helps you out a little bit because this is why I say that you just can't use chord charts. Just because the notes are correct and it's the correct chord doesn't necessarily mean it's going to sound right. So that's why I encourage you to learn a little music theory. And even on the CD, I put a little, a, a good couple of pages of uh, introduction to music theory. And I don't think you're going to find it too difficult to uh, understand because, like I said, I don't use chord charts. All I simply do is know the notes I need and then find them on the guitar because I'll show you one last little thing before I go. See, there's the A major, right? And I showed you how to change it to this seventh. But you see, what we're doing is we're adding that G note that appears on the first string, first fret. But I can also get that G note here on the uh, second string, fifth fret. See, so that's an A7 and this is an A7. So 
maybe you were going to do a song and the other inversion might work a little bit better so that's why i say experiment and exploring really opens up the guitar and uh makes it a lot more fun so i hope you enjoyed this lesson enjoy your practice and please feel free to write if you have any questions take care